Well, in an exclusive interview to Karan Thapar, Congress leader Sandeep Dikshit explains why Sonia Gandhi must continue to lead the Congress party and why Rahul's leadership could prove to be a risk at this point. In Rahul's absence, two things happen. First, Mrs. Gandhi galvanized 14 opposition parties yes. who readily accepted her leadership on the issue of the land acquisition amendments, mm. marched behind her to the president's house. Yes. And many people in Congress asked, if Rahul Gandhi had been president of Congress instead of Sonia, would the opposition have rallied behind him the way they rallied behind Sonia? What's your answer to that question? Uh, I can't really say that. I, I, don't th I can't really say whether it would have had the same impact as Mrs. Gandhi did. Please remember, Mrs. Gandhi is senior. She's been, spent many more years with senior con uh, you know, opposition leaders. And you know, in today's circumstances, you can't be a principal leader of the opposition. You can be a first among equals when you're talking about other she political parties. Is recognized. She is very clearly a first among equals. He may not be. Uh, Perhaps not, as of today, because, you know, obviously he's younger, he's not been a party president, therefore he's not equated with others as one party president to another. You know, you know a lot of these things make a difference. So in the circumstances of today, her being party president gives Congress a huge advantage, which wouldn't happen if Rahul was party president. Yeah, in, the, in this aspect, yes, absolutely. You know, as, as somebody who would probably be that little, uh, you know, top of a phalanx, uh, which will lead an opposition. She can be, government. he won't be. She is. He may or may not. He may or may not be. It will, it will certainly take time, it will take effort. I'm, I'm, as a sense, the opportunity has not been given to him, so we can't say it's a no-no. But obviously, it would take time. Uh, the questions uh, to, are there. Yeah, to establish to that level. Now, the second thing that happened when mm -hmm. Rahul was away is that people began raking up questions to do with his tenure track record as an MP. Mm -hmm. They began raking up questions to do with his performance at the head of the many campaigns he's conducted mm -hmm. for Congress. Mm -hmm. And the answer most people came up with was that Rahul is still learning. Some actually went stronger and said Rahul has a lot to learn. Mm. Would you agree Rahul is still learning? I mean, it's quite clearly. I think he himself states that. You know, I don't think anywhere he has uh, made a statement. If you actually see his, his performance and take out all the prejudices or lenses with which we very often see him, I think he's very clearly given this message. Even when he spoke in Jaipur, he spoke in Delhi, in the Burari conference, he's constantly said that he's learning. There are ideas in his mind which are rooted in Congress philosophy and he's trying to implement them. And each time he kind of uh, reiterates and finds himself doing perhaps something better than what he did earlier. But he so, is still learning. That's that's the key thing. He is still learning. I think he, he says that himself. Uh, in it's this it's not something only just we say. In mm. this context, mm. against this background and in the present circumstances, let me then come to the critical question everyone wants to hear you answer. Do you believe today Congress needs a new party president or do you believe Sonia Gandhi should continue for at least three, four years? I personally believe that she should continue for three, four years, uh, or longer or less. I can't uh, say the period exactly because you see, uh, my but she should continue. Yes, and my belief is also rooted in the context of today. Uh, we started with saying that Congress is perhaps facing some of its uh, toughest moments today. <coughs> the battle ahead is very strong. She's had an experience of having led the Congress. In a, in a similar manner from 97-98. Rahul hasn't had that experience. No, nobody else has uh, had, uh, in fact. So uh, this experience is invaluable in, in today. Valuable, absolutely. When you have somebody who's been through a particular process and is no less today than what she was in 97-98, perhaps much more so than what she was in 97-98. Please remember, a lot of people were ridiculing her, were trying to make fun of her, were trying all kinds of dirty tricks against her. She overcame all that. Today she's an established, respected person whose dignity, whose uh, behavior, whose attitude is something that is liked and respected by almost everybody, including the opposition. So in fact, she is today a far bigger leader than she was in 97. All of this makes her invaluable today. Today, yeah. According irreplaceable. To me, yes. uh, invaluable, uh, irreplaceable. Invaluable. Uh, Nobody is irre irreplaceable uh, in, in, in a period, but I think today she is irreplaceable. She's our best bet. She's our best general.